Shalom everyone, I come to you in the name of Yeshua the Messiah and today's video is about persecuted Christian Asia Bibi. Now I'm reading from the persecutionblog.com website. Um, the article is forward slash is www.persecutionblog.com forward slash 2009 forward slash 10 forward slash Pakistan uh, Asia BB in court.html. And um, just to give you an overview about Asia Bibi, um, she was arrested by police on Friday, June 19th, and charged with blasphemy. Her family is one of only three Christian families in a village of more than 1,500 families. Many of the local women, including Asia at one time, uh, work on the farm of Muslim landowner uh, Mohammed Idris. During their work, many of the women Muslim women uh, attempted to pressure Asia to renounce Christianity and to accept Islam. On that same date of June 19th, there was an intense discussion among the women about their faith. The Muslim women told Asia about Islam. Asia responded by telling the Muslim women that Christ died on the cross for our sins and then asked them what Muhammad had done for them according to Voice of the Martyr sources. She told them, Jesus is alive, but Muhammad is dead. Our Christ is the true prophet of God, Asia reportedly told the Muslim women, and yours is not true. Upon hearing this response, the Muslim women became angry and began to beat Asia Bibi. Then some men came and took her and locked her in a room. They announced from mosque loudspeakers that she would be punished by having her face blackened and being paraded through the village on a donkey. Local Christians informed the police who took Asia into custody before the Muslims could carry out their plan. She is currently being held at the police station in, Nan in Nankana City. Christians there urged the police not to file blasphemy charges, but police claimed that they must go forward due to the pressure from local Muslim leaders. Now it finishes with uh, the voice of the martyrs is assisting Asia's family and urges you to continue praying for them. Um, again, if I didn't mention it before, she is a Pakistani Christian, uh, so this article also goes on to uh, ask people to call on the Pakistani government to ensure that the rights of Christians like Asia are protected. And um, you can go to the Voice of the Martyrs website, which is persecution.com, and you can find out how you can write a letter to Asia Bibi to encourage her. Uh, this is for all those Christians out there that will watch this video, and even for non-Christians who support human rights. Um, which I'm sure most of you do. <clears throat> and um, the first part of the article says that on October 14th, Asia Bibi appeared in court in Sheikhupura, Pakistan, and spent some time with her family before the court appearance. Asia's husband, Ashik Masi, and her daughters and VOM, or the Voice of the Martyrs, contacts met her for 15 minutes before the court appearance. Um, According to the Voice of the Martyr Contacts, uh, Asia is in strong faith, her eyes were hopeful, and then it finishes with praise God. Uh, Asia, told, Asia told VOM Contacts, she prays every day at 3 a.m. And she stated, I thank God that the jail administration has good behavior with me. She said, I don't have trouble with them, but I miss my daughters and family. Please arrange my soon release from this jail, Asia told the Voice of the Martyr Contacts. Uh, and of course, Asia's daughters were visibly upset when they met her. Uh, the little daughter was continuously asking her mother, Mama, when are you coming home? And according to VOM contacts, Isha, the, the eldest daughter, cried and hugged her mother and would not let her go. Isha pointed to the veil on her mother's face and said, I want to see your face. Remove this cover. It was a very sad scene. Now, jumping forward to today... Hold on one second. This is an update according to the BeAVoice.net website. Um, fears are growing for the safety of Asia Bibi following reports that a Muslim cleric and a major newspaper have issued a call for Muslims to behead her if the courts do not follow through. Her death sentence. 
according to Guardian News. Asia Bibi was found guilty last month of insulting the Prophet Muhammad and sentenced to death by hanging under a blasphemy law that is frequently used to persecute minorities. On December 3rd, a Peshawar Imam, Maulana Yusuf Qureshi, offered 500,000 rupees, or the equivalent of $5,800, to anyone who killed Bibi if the court fails to hang her. Two days later, Pakistan's second largest newspaper, Nawa Iwak, issued this statement. The punishment handed down to Asia Bibi will be carried out in one manner or the other. The extremists have been supported by conservative judges in the Lahore High Court, which blocked an offer by President Zardari to pardon Bibi, and human rights activists fear Bibi could be killed before her case can come to appeal. And uh, then it goes on to say, please pray for an impenetrable hedge of protection around Asia Bibi. Pray also for the safety of her family who had to flee their village due to death threats. Pray that they will all sense God's presence and peace during this difficult time. Pray that the powers of darkness will be overthrown and Asia will be released from jail and safely reunited with her family. And so I encourage every one of you to follow each one of those um, prayers, to pray those prayers. Uh, she needs our prayer. She needs our support. You can send her letters. You can go to persecution.com and click on prisoner alert and you can go from there and find out what you have to do to send Asia Bibi a letter. Um, it's quite disturbing and it is the reality of what Islam is all about. And um, it's not the people, it's the ideology. And so please pray that the eyes and ears of Muslims around the world will be opened and that their heart will be softened and that the Lord will have grace and mercy upon them uh, to see fit to save them. Uh, we don't know who's going to be in the kingdom, but I know that the Lord is doing wonderful things, very supernatural things to save people in Middle Eastern and Asian countries, these people who are caught up in the deception of Islam. He's appearing to them in dreams and in visions in um, massive numbers right now, and I just please pray that that continues um, and that these people are set free from the deception that they are caught up in. Um, you know, they have strongholds, and these strongholds are enslaving them to a lie. And, you know, pray for the Muslims, I mean all over the world, not just in Asia or in the Middle East, but here in America. There's many Muslims that come from other countries that have never heard the gospel here in America. So pray for Muslims around the world, again, that their eyes are open, that their ears are open, and that their heart is softened, and that the Lord will have mercy on them and see fit to save them. And so um, please also visit save pat .com and sign the petition there and follow the other uh, things or the other look at the other ways that you can help to free pat from the prison that she has been placed in she's another persecuted christian here but that's going on here right here in rochester new york so pray for her pray for timothy bowman and take action for pat like i said please and uh, I just thank you for watching this video and may, for those who are not Christians, um, again, humor me and um, just start talking to Jesus. You know, see if he's real. Pray. You know, if you don't believe, what does it hurt you to say a simple prayer and see what happens? Um, you know, it can't hurt you. So... Uh, I would just implore everyone to call on Jesus, those who are not saved to call on Jesus, those who are saved to um, grow closer with Him, to call upon Him every day, to repent when you fall short, uh, because uh, we are in the end times, and uh, soon the Lord will be returning again. Um, as I said in the Pat Kobilak video that I did a couple of days ago, I do not know when the Lord is going to return but it is in a relatively short amount of time and we need to prepare so thank you for watching this I you know pray that the Lord blesses you and keeps you I pray that he makes his face shine upon you and that he's gracious to you and that he lifts up his countenance upon you and places his peace within you and I say this in the name of Yeshua the Messiah Jesus the Christ Shalom